All right, today, ladies, I am outside French Connection. After many requests, you have asked me for certain stores to see what's inside. They've got a sale on at the moment, so take that into account. And I don't know if we'll be stopped filming because I haven't asked permission. But um, I have got last year some really good things in French Connection, and I want it to deliver consistently because it's a kind of perennial British brand. But let's see what they got in store. So here we are. Let's just cruise around the store. I think they're always good for shirts. I have on now a shirt I got last year at French Connection. And I love their shirts because they're beautifully made. They're like J. Crew. They're lovely cotton. The sleeve length is good, um, but they're not as expensive as J. Crew. So I kind of think it's, it's fab. Um, and they've done this sort of, you know, they'll always, my favorite shoe. This is my favorite shoe. I wore the shoe all summer. If they have my size, I will get another pair. Does that say 39? <gasps> My God, does that say 39? 39? Oh my God! You know how long I've been looking for the shoe? I've worn out my other one. I love it so much. I'll, what size do you need? 39, and you've got it. I must, have, I must have requested so often to find this shoe. Oh. So exciting. I think it's a 39 I want. I think so, yes. So exciting. Okay, so let's just move the bag. Um, you know, it's funny because we all have colors in our palette that we think we suit. So when I come in and I see a lot of camel, it immediately just makes my eyesight go like that. Because I don't suit camel, it makes me look like the cat has sick something up. But some women do suit camel beautifully. So I'm just gonna see if there's any styles of things I like. Little coat, it's gotta just be different enough for me. Like, do I like that as a kind of piece? It's quite interesting, that piece. You pick it up and you think, what is it exactly? It's not a silk shirt. It's not a sports piece, but it's sort of what I would call a grown-up sport luxe. So it has the elasticity on the neck. It has the ruched waist and a ruched sleeve. So I think that is actually quite a cool little top for when you really don't want to be too smart and you don't want to be too casual. And I think things like that in your wardrobe are very handy to have. And I like that some navy. They've got their sort of wash silk um, jogging pant here, which is, you know, doesn't crease. It's made as, I don't know what this fabric's called. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's like a kind of jersey, ponty jersey or something, but silk and jersey mix. They are, how much are they? Um, 85 pounds. Yeah. But if you wore it with a trainer and a beautiful coat, I do like that look. You know, if we did a, this gray coat here with that, the white trainer and that sort of blouse. That's a lovely way to do a smart, casual, timeless moment. And those are pieces in our wardrobe that we can go to again and again and get used to some. So I do like those trousers. I might try them on later. Ah, uh, there we go. They always do a bit of faux fur. I got last year a long sleeve faux fur that I loved. So they've done a gilet this time. But for me, the color's too creamy, so it's not what I would wear. I think this is a beautiful coat. I might try it on, actually, Luke. I've got Luke, my nephew, behind the, behind the camera today. Um, but there's something charming about this shade of gray. It's 190 pounds. This is a size 12. But I kind of... You just go and look in a mirror, Lou. Yeah, I, I do love that. I love that with the blue and white pinstripe from last year. But it's kind of a nice coat, it doesn't? It has pockets down like that. I'm wearing a size 12. It's an alternative to the Zara teddy bear coat, but it's much better quality. And it's got a nice long sleeve. And you can wear it over anything. It's a very good gray, this. It's an expensive looking gray. Yeah, I like that. You could think, am I wearing a dressing gown? But actually, I don't feel that. I feel it's, it's got a very beautiful cut and it works. There's a nice coat here with some detail in khaki. I think many of you know I'm not good in khaki, but there's something I love about the military aspect of this coat, that sort of just heavy military coat. I used to get these, there was a there was a place in, off Euston Road called Lawrence Corner and they would sell old army jackets. I used to get them when I was a teenager. So I think I'm harking back to that. 
as a look. Let's just see what that's like. And that is very nice. That is um, really nice. Again, very, very good shade of khaki. It's not too dark. It's quite rich. These have been pulled back to give that hint of white. I might actually pull them down because I have very long arms, but it shows that if you were more petite, you could wear it like that and it doesn't look like it's been badly rolled up. It looks like it's been rolled up with a purpose. But I would probably wear that long. I think that's lovely, actually. Really lovely. I like the back detail, too. There. You can then tie it up and do it up. Quite a lot of detail here, but it takes it from being a very clean, plain khaki cover coat to something a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's great. That's a kind of classic. They're very good at bags here, and they have, what I think I like about them a lot is they don't have a lot of expensive ends of the high street. We'll do bags, and they'll want to plaster their name on them. And I think some people who would like to buy a Michael Kors bag or a Saint Laurent bag or an expensive bag, buy it for the name or because it's beautifully made. But to get a nice bag from the high street without French Connection blazoned across it, I think is kind of chic. And I love that color. I bought actually a bag not dissimilar to this for, um, as a present for someone from Saint Laurent. And it was a very expensive present, but it was so chic in its color and cleanness of design. But I love that. It would fit a laptop. It's not very heavy. I think it's, it's great. Um, and that is 80 pounds. So. I don't know if it's leather. I feel it should be leather. French Connection is just written inside there. It's good. I don't know if it's leather or not. Do I mind if it's leather or not? No. And if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you will. But I think that's great. And for 80 pounds, it's not a Zara bag. It's another bag. I don't want to say that meanly, because we know how much I love Zara. But I think that's great. Um, and then you've got the other end of the spectrum here, which is French Connection written on it. And I don't know, but I love a little bag for my phone and everything. And I, I have some real Chanel, fake Chanel, but they've got to be the right width. If they're too wide, they sit bulkily on you. And if you wear them over a coat, even more so. So I think that's a very good width. Uh, it's dark, dark navy, not black. And I might just wear it with that there. Mm. I know it's French connection, I can read it, so I wouldn't want to see that. But I like the bag. 30% off. Um, they'll do clean, plain things each season, so a pair of not very high black suede boots. Nice cut. You know, easy. Little kitten heel of the season. I don't know how much they are, there's no price in them. But they're nice. They've done the homage to uh, Gucci with a furry slipper. I kind of feel with something like this, get the original or don't get it, because I don't see the purpose of this following trend. This is very much a Gucci moment. And if you see that fashion inspiration in something very different from the high street, I don't think it translates well. And I don't know how comfortable they are. So that's the only other reason to get them is that you're sitting on a bed of faux fur. Um, okay, let's move around the store. Put my jacket on again for a second. What I do love in French Connection, generally, are they have some one or two fab long dresses, but I've just got to see if they've got them in yet. It could be that they're going to get the sale over and done with, and then they'll bring in party wear. See, that to me is just dumb in comparison to those other two coats. I think the other two coats are masterful. This is a nice bag. This is interesting. I do go to the accessories. I love the fact that it's navy padded velvet. Again, there's no label on it. Very glitzy gold chain. Let's see how that's going to look. It's got a magnetic thing, which I love. It is, you can be looking for your Christmas presents, ladies. It is 85 pounds. All right, it's closed as well. It's for those people who need more than a little side bag, but I'd probably wear it 
like that. It's kind of cool. It's interesting, it's nice that it's silver and not gold. It's a very nice size when you want to fit a bit more. So if I wanted my stack and my keys and my iPad and my phone and stuff, this is a very nice size bag. I think I'd do it as a cross bag because I think if you do it as a singular bag, that looks weird and it looks a bit long. Um, you could double up. I don't know if you ever do this. I used to do this with my old Chanel bags but you can just double up by going inside and taking that chain and doubling it like that. And then, will this work? Hang on, I got it that way around, sorry. So you take the chain, you take one bit inside and then you close it like that. And that gives you the way that Chanel does their handbags, a little trick. And then you can just put it over your shoulder and it just about fits. So it's kind of, you know, would it fall off? No, I think it's good. Look at, that. <laughs> look at this lovely French Connection salesperson showing me, look, there's a silver bag. <laughs> as, as if you wouldn't know, matching the shoes. Now, silver bags and silver, I, I think, I'm sure, if I said I hate to do it, you would have all ladies found a way I've done it in the past. But I don't know if, if I, as you know, I have a cost silver bag I love. And I quite, I do like this cushion detail that they've got on these bags. I think they are cool. Um, and that is quite an interesting bag. Oh, but I'm just showing you today, ladies. I'm not buying anything, I'm showing you things. But that is a nice bag. Yeah, it is good. It's good. It would be the same as the other one I just showed you before. And I think price-wise, it's gonna be about 60 quid. I don't know, but, oh, hang on, I got a price here. Let me not be lazy. 75 pounds. Are they leather? No. So it's good for vegans then? Yes. Good for vegans. So is that expensive for not being leather? I think it's all about, there's so many amazing fabrics today in the foe of anything that if it's bought well, it could be nearly more expensive than, um, than the original. This is a weird color to have that bag in, but if you love that color, quite fantastic with some sort of burnt orange or rust to be beautiful. But as a color on its own, particularly tricky to wear for some people. Although it's the same color, this color, just so you know, is the same color nearly. Just turn the camera on yourself for a second. If I could get a handbag to match my nephew Luke's hair, it might be that bag. Nearly, strawberry blonde. Strawberry blonding, Luke. I mean, a liar was the first person to do this with that little cutout showing some flesh. Um, I'm, I would be worried where that bit's going to sit, but there is actually underneath um, a little modesty thing. But as a plain black dress, emulating uh, an Alaya dress, that's not bad. Um, it's something that might be very good for work with a black jacket over it. Very conservative, 140 pounds. Okay. What I do love, I remember actually the things I love here. What I do love is their necklaces, and I've got one or two. Chloe and I last year did this kind of um, rather sexy black dress that was way too low for me, and I used some of their little um, necklaces to put in and fill in my boobs. So these are all the same, and the gold has got a bit too 24 karat for my liking. Um, I quite like when necklaces mix silver and gold, and these are all very gold or very silver. But they are pretty and they're not that expensive, this jewelry. And it looks good, like their earrings work well too. But perhaps this is not the selection I saw last year, but it's something to always look out for in this brand because I think they, they do know how to do it. Um, there was a funny fur, yes, this. I forgot to show, look at this because I want to look at this. I said to you last year, I got a, I got a faux fur from here. And I kind of like it, I like it much more this year. I wore it yesterday for the first time again. But this is their equivalent for this year. So I'm gonna just try this. Um, it is, they're never cheap, these ones. 190 pounds. Kind of love it. <laughs> I do kind of love that. I think that um, it's, it's an odd collar, but it sort of works. It's oversized, I'm in an extra small, but the colors are actually for me, they're very good because there's gray and off-white and, and navy in there near my face. If this bit was near my face, 
that wouldn't work quite so well. Um, it's got pockets. It's cool. It's chilled, cool. And I think it's a great, great Christmas present for somebody. Are we already talking about that? But I think it's, it's fun, any age. Um, does it look faux fur? Yes, because most faux fur, unless it's shrimps, who is like the goddess of faux fur and did the original faux fur that everyone copies. Um, you go up and there's, there isn't a shininess to it, but I think if somebody brought a lighter close to me, I would <coughs> step well away. Do you like winter white? I quite like winter white. And I've noticed here, it's going to be bad for me to show you this uh, without something. Let's just see this. See this idea of a kind of white cardigan. Mm, I don't know if I like it as much as I thought I would like it. The difficulty with a white cardigan, I got one from Zara recently, is they can look like they're your dressing gown. And I wondered if this would be nicer to have no ties on it, you know, and just to cut the ties off and have it as a loose item. I sometimes do that with things where I think they shouldn't have put the tie in and you don't want to feel the obligation to belt something which might look better draped. So if I was considering this, because I think it's lovely to have winter white with a white t-shirt underneath, keep it all light at the top, then I wouldn't have the holes there and I'd just have it like that as a piece. And then I think it works really well. Actually, I much prefer it than when it had the busyness of that tie. You know what's funny is I just, I put my hat, my bottom against here and because I've been wearing so many fake fabrics, I got an electric shock in my bottom. <laughs> just did. <laughs> that is just the maddest thing. Okay, let's have another little look downstairs and see what there is. I saw this on the way in. And I don't know how many of you remember, I got the most delightful shirt um, from here two years ago, which was a sort of filo gray broderie anglaise. It was exquisite, but it ended up being quite itchy. And this is, they always do every season, a really beautiful shirt, which is definitely inspired by a vintage piece they've got somewhere. But this is in fact a dress. And I quite like that. If you're somebody who can be really mucky in tucking your top into your skirt, to have that already made up for you can be great. And if you think of lots of, you know, like Chanel and these designers say, you're always, you're seen from the waist up, you go out in the evening. Generally, even a cocktail party, if it's packed, you're seen mainly from the waist up. So having one's attention and focus around this area, and that is a really pretty, pretty piece to wear out for party time. They have it in black, but I prefer this oyster color Here's the black. So if you're an all black girl, but this is actually in a jumpsuit and the fabric is a stretchy jersey. And I think that might bag at the bottom, gape at the knee. I don't know if that's going to be successful. Um, a little black dress there, nice. Casual, casual, casual. Just these are very, you know, for me, I'm not gonna go over this stuff because this is like the boring but necessary kind of stuff and my eyes glaze over I'm looking for the winners so let's have a quick look downstairs I think that is a very nice chic shirt uh, I love the fact that it comes in two or three colors kind of easy a drop sleeve so if you don't like your upper arm there's a nice width there of sleeve and it will make anyone with a slightly bigger arm because there's so much width there it will narrow down your arm so these are quite good to wear if you feel you've got a slightly bigger arm because it kind of you don't know what's fabric and what's arm and those are 49 pounds nice fabric it's a you know it's a poly but it's a good poly polyesters and quite a few of you ladies say you can't bear anything that isn't cotton or isn't real silk but I think you can nowadays get a breathable polyester breathable viscoses they needn't all be how we imagine fabrics when they first came out and they were synthetic which is a million years ago now but I do feel that would you'd breathe through that and I feel it wouldn't crease too much either look I do that and it's not really creasing that much okay this is mainly men but there might be some women's stuff this is suddenly all feeling weirdly summery and pastely. It's rather odd to just move into this space and just see this lovely lightness of color. And I'm thinking, who is this for? But it's, that's just so delightful and fresh. 
I mean, it's, we're only just going into winter and I'm thinking, I'd quite like it to be spring already. Could be that they have an audience that also um, is uh, foreign and they come here for, to shopping and go back to a hot country. But um, really pretty that, I love it. And it's got an open back that you could kind of close up the back. I think it's delightful. And they've shown it with a pink coat, which is a bit blah for me. Little seersucker. Ah, oh, I've seen something quite mad and fab. I always, I always love a pink suit. I always love a pink suit, but pink is tricky, and that pink is really tricky. But that jumper is fantastic. I bought one from Zara this season, nearly this color, but this fabric is much nicer than the Zara one, because the Zara one was really itchy. Let me just see if I can wear this color. I want to convince myself I can wear this color, and Shasha and I, by the way, have done a series of little films just showing how you can wear weird colors that don't necessarily suit you, and how you can use the right makeup to help that color suit you. Because we all have things in our wardrobe which we kind of feel, oh, but the design was so nice, oh, but it cost me so much money, but the color is off. And it's always thinking, how can I do something to make that color wearable? So I am always drawn to a bright pink jumper, and I love this. I put this on and I feel happy and cozy and fantastic. I want it desperately now. Um, but I have to think, what makeup should I wear with it? So we might do next week, I'm gonna to get to do this with Shasha, what makeup to wear with bright pink, because that is, that is just gorgeous, that jumper. Gorgeous, I want the jumper, I want the jumper. No, but I'm, but I'm trying to ban myself from shopping. And I kind of love it. I mean, they've shown it here with that, but in the winter, tonally, to wear the same shade. I just have to put it on and show you, because I'm just, just desperate to try it on. I'm gonna very quickly do that. I might just do it over what I'm wearing. I'll, I'll combobulate because it's so hot down here, but I'm just gonna show you. Okay. All right. And I probably wouldn't wear it with a navy trouser, but I just need to see if I can get away with it. I'm trying on an extra small, it's an oversized jumper, but I sort of think in this, I don't want to be smothered by the pink. And if I get it too oversized, it would just be so much pink. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I like the way it's cut at the front, so I could do a half tuck here. So let's go for effect rather than what I'm saying. But this is really what I'm talking about when I talk about tonality. So I think if you wear similar colors with similar colors like this, it just gives a richness to the color. And if I wore this bright pink in the winter with white, which I can try and show you, it just changes everything and it stops it having a coolness of color. So, so if I show you, if I show you this with the white and you see what it does to the pink, all right, like that, and then I take it away and I show it to you like that. I prefer the pink on the pink. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a joyful jumper. It's a tremendously joyful jumper. It really is. I just can't get enough of it. But I am so hot. So that gives you a soupçon. We've got to go now, Luke and I, but it gives you a soupçon. French Connection is worth looking at. There is stuff in here that's good. They are mid-sale by the time Luke and I put this out, maybe this weekend. They probably still will be on sale. But don't, um, you know, it's good to look at everything on the British High Street and see what it has to offer us. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>